Hello again. This is John's model making. Tonight we're going to be doing Ghostbusters issue 17, stage 60. Let's get on with the build. Tonight we've got stage 60. These are all the parts. We'll just run through the parts list. We've got the Astroday input output peripheral body front monitor the Martin Marietta UHF signal and power distribution unit cover unit knob A B and C and the Martin Marietta UHF signal and power distribution unit support strut That's all the parts so we we'll to get these unpacked IP screws, GP screws, AP screws, and it should be KP screws, yes. Four support struts. These got to be fun. Plastic knobs for this front. All those small little detail here. This is very nicely detailed. Which have signal front. It's very nice indeed. I like the colour in that. Decals look nice as well. Okay, first of all. We need this part and this part and this goes in two location pins there, two holes there, that is for the detail and we'll come through this little hole here, press them into place. There you go, that holds like that. No need for screws. And then this little detail, which can go anyway. It has got some detail in the corners, but they all look exactly the same. That's in position. Comes there again, another push bit, click in place, and there we go. That is that part finished. Oh, it's fine. There we go. Next, we take 59E from the previous stage, which is this plate. On this goes one location, uh, one location over there. You can see where that goes. Slot in place. That is that, and that is held in with two AP screws. modified the distribution unit as you can see it is now gold it's a darker gold than I wanted but that's all I could get off the internet for now without paying a fortune on Amazon my local hobby craft on the charge two pound for bins you could get that on Amazon which I was and that's what was left with but as you can see it's a nice colour and I'm going to use my airbrush on it it's 
with a nice consistent paint job on it. Right, that's that fitted and we take this little box from the previous issue again that places there like that and we secure that down with IP screws black IP screws four of them that's one Two, three, and four. So back in the there we go. Nice. That is that. Is that. Need to do is row this with this. There is a location hit there, which will go in there. There we go, and then just line up these screws here, and this one will go there, like that. So these holes will show through these holes and that we place in the knobs that'll be fun and um, need the GP screws to put this front on these two boxes and that is what my, my fingers are trying to do these are small screws so I think we need small screws like that One, two, three. One location pin this time. Lines up like that nicely. This one, second one, third one. That is that for me. I do like this detail here, it looks really good. Now we need the struts. These place just like that. Oops, I can't see that. Like I'll put one in place and then you And these, these KP, KP screws. Right to the way. There we go, that's the first one in. Need to do three more. There we go, that's all four struts in place. That's looking very neat and tidy there. I do like that very much. 
that will eventually go up there, like, like so. And the gold contrast nicely with the cream as well. Great. The next thing we have to do is all these black knobs. Obviously, you can see which way they're going to go. And they're going to be the bank of twos. Pop in there. And then it's alternate, large and small, across there and there. So let's get my sprue cutters. Get these. Okay, so 60E, which is the Believe it or not, longer two, longer of the two knobs. Um, go there, like so. And in there, you just press in, so that's nice. Very fiddly. And those in there. And that one, last, that was there. Then we have the last four. 60F. recommend is I leave this top panel slightly loose so you can get the holes lined up and these little knobs can push through quite easily so that's the first of them done and now we want these six place in with this part at the bottom. Let's see if we can get this one in. Nice tight fit. Oh, oh, well. yeah, that one might fall out that middle one. So that might end up being glued in. So far, I think. This is part 60G. So a slightly tighter fit than others. Again, that middle one. Nice fit, but not as tight as the other one. That one has gone in nice. Now, that's a sure. There we go, tighten this up. That's how all them knobs and switches all lined. And there we go. That is quite nice. All there's left to do is to put it on here. Right. That goes there, that goes there. That's what something moving around there. We need to secure it with 
uh, AP screws from underneath. This one and the second one. Nice type it. There we go. It's not looking too bad at the moment, is it? And I need four. KP screws. No, am I going to have to change screws? I think I am. There we go. Long got thin and shaft. Now is the cargo floor. The AP screws. And here slots in nicely there. And we have three screws. One, one, two, three. All AP. Support it from underneath. everything in place that is stage 60 complete well I don't know about you but I enjoyed that lots of fiddly screws and fiddly little knobs to put in place but it is looking a lot lot better there we go again you see it a bit better on that camera Really, there we go. I like the detail on the front of that. That does look really good. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up, and I will see you for stage 61 and 62 of the Ghostbusters Ecto One. Bye for now.